Hi Fire Signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I really appreciate all of your love and support. In this reading, we are going to find out what's coming up for you within 24 hours. Today is the 8th of September, 2023. Time here in Hoi An, Vietnam is 7.28 a.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. And if this video finds you, this message is meant for you, even if you even if you're dealing with the same sign. Now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for fire signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. What's coming up for them within 24 hours? <clears throat> There'll be a lot of details in this reading that may or may not resonate with you from the beginning till the end. So please bear that in mind. Temperance in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. So we got the page of wands here, and then we've also got the king of wands in one first. I think you're going to have to make a judgment call, a very important judgment call within 24 hours, okay? The spirit is definitely saying to um, not rush into it because the page of swords here indicates you needing to do your homework, needing to um, get all the inf in get all the information that you need before you take actions because the king of wands here is my first which is your energy right and we've got the four of cups here in my first justice in my first for some of you that could also be somebody okay this is just for some of you somebody might tell you hey you're gonna miss this opportunity if you don't do it right now if you don't do it right now so there's this energy where someone will be calling you or sending you a message. Hey, do you want to do this now? Um, else you're going to miss this opportunity. But I feel like with you being in my first spirit could be saying, Hey, don't. Um, don't just take actions because somebody is rushing you. Okay. Either because that. Ten of Pentacles in my verse, it may cost you money, more money, or that um, you may not give your best work if this is connected to your work situation. It could be either this or that, okay? Just take what resonates with you, because justice is in the middle of your spread here. It's in my verse, so it feels a bit like, okay, so this is not going to be fair to you, okay? So whatever somebody tells you to do right now or trying to um, like rush you, that's what I'm picking up on. Because this angel's holding this trumpet, it's like, it feels like someone, feels right now, it's like someone is telling you what to do, rushing you. Um, either if you actually do what they say, ask you to do, you either wouldn't give them the best work because you're rushing through it, half, half done work, <laughs> or that you might lose money, Ten of Pentacles in a verse because of it, or lose your time. Um, I just feel like with the justice in a verse, <clears throat> excuse me, that it may not be actually fair to you, okay? <clears throat> and then we've also got the Queen of Wands in a verse, Nine of Wands in a verse. The future is just not promised. That's what I'm hearing. Some of you, if you're dealing with someone who doesn't really want to talk to you right now or doesn't want to give you any sort of commitment, um, that's that could be because they're not sure if there's a future with you because maybe the judgment here can indicate a lot of things from the past that were being brought up. But also it could be you, fire signs, Perhaps to reconcile with someone with a judgment right here may not be such a good idea, at least not right now. You need to see first with the Page of Swords if there could be a future between the two of you. Because the Ten of Pentacles is something solid. It is something that um, that is long-lasting. So whether it's a relationship or some sort of partnership, friendship, work, you know, work relationship, you have to make sure that this partnership 
has its longevity before you fully commit, okay? And for some of you, it's you getting called back to do something or work for someone um, that you've worked with before. Again, a lot of details in this reading. It may not resonate <clears throat> for all of you, okay? Bear that in mind. Sorry, I'm just feeling uh, a little bit sick, actually. Um, not very sick, just a little bit sick, like 20% sick. <laughs> But anyway, we've got the temperance here in my verse, the star in my verse, and also I've got the eight of swords in an upright position. For those of you feeling sick too, fire signs, some of you could be, because speaking of being sick, we've got the temperance and the star here, which these two cards I do read as like health, okay? Health-wise, some of you, and health doesn't have to be physical health. It could be mental, emotional health, okay? Or again, physical health. I do see you needing to sort of um, rest. Yeah, a lot of resting to do because King of Wands here is in one first. You need to rest. And Page of Wands and Page of Swords. Some of you, if you're feeling sick right now, I do see you. I don't see you resting completely. I don't see you just laying down, sleeping the whole time. I see you still like watching some YouTube videos, learning something, um, page of wands, and learn something and be inspired by something that you watch online, or it could be reading a book. So I don't see you completely not doing anything. Um, even if you're sick, this part is just for those of you fire signs who are not feeling well, okay? But then, on the other hand, for those of you who are seeking for solution um, or trying to figure out how to get better soon, I do see some of you um, perhaps doing your research, page of sorts. If you're not, then it's basically saying, hey, do your research. Perhaps you could get better uh, soon. Um, or that you perhaps you would find certain solution to getting better, different alternatives, okay? That's for some of you who are not uh, feeling too well. I'm going to pull out a few more cards right here. Ace of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Six of Cups can indicate visitation. Some of you, someone might be visiting you within 24 hours, or you may be visiting someone. But the Six of Cups, it's also... It may be an indication of you missing someone within 24 hours. You may feel like you miss someone that you've known for a long time or in the past. Um, as a sense of nostalgia right here. Or oh, someone could be missing you within 24 hours. There are two cards here, Judgment and the Six of Cups. So maybe you and this person haven't been really... Your connection with this person hasn't healed yet, yeah? There's some healing and recovery to do between you and this person, you and this person's connection. So either either this person are, is going to be thinking about you, spying on you, or that you're going to be thinking about this person or spying on this person, or that literally this person will reach out to you, or you you could be considering reaching out to this person as well. Okay, got the Nine of Cups here in my first Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We've got the world and we've got the Ace of Pentacles right here. I know there's one fire sign who will only reach out to me whenever he wants money, whenever he wants money from me. So <laughs> so watch out for that too because the Ten of Pentacles here is in reverse, right? So it can indicate that for some of you, someone might reach out to you and ask to borrow money from you or to ask money from you not literally borrowing just can you give me some money um some of you it could be that or it could be you again reaching out to someone and wanting to borrow money asking money but i'm just i'm not saying that all fire signs are gonna do that okay please bear that in mind this is a general reading it's not for all of you um if you are financially sound, then this part of the reading is not for you, okay? Um, but some of you fire signs, you may have somebody asking to borrow money from you, or you might be asking borrow, to borrow money from someone. 
okay, within 24 hours. We've got the Ace of Pentacles right here. You could be thinking a lot about how do I get something to take off, whether it's money, uh, career, your business. You could be thinking about that. But specifically saying that these two pages, there could be something new that you could learn. Um, it doesn't have to be something that you've known how to do for a long time. It could be something completely different because these two pages are young. So it could be something new, something completely different from what you do. Perhaps um, also it could be a spiritual way of saying that, you know, if you want to uh, start something new, um, there is an opportunity to do so. Okay. And then also we've got the world right here. Closing of an old chapter and a new chapter begins. I don't know why I'm picking up on this energy, fire signs, where every time when you want to start something new, you kept getting called back to do something that you've been doing for a long time that you just feel like you maybe you don't want to do anymore, okay? Yeah, that's definitely the energy I'm picking up on. So someone might call you back to work or you might just feel have this feeling where where like I do, re I really want to do something new, but then every time when you're just about to begin, you get called back, or like you feel inclined to go back to doing the things that you used to do in the past, right? Could be career, it could be anything. All right, fire signs, Leo, Aries, and such. This is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs. It's my travel channel. I'm very active on that channel. And also, for those of you who like to be notified every time when I go live and every time when I post uh, your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Whenever I go live, this is when I do all 12 individual sign readings, followed by answering super chat questions. I can, I can and will, <laughs> that's what I've been doing, um, I'll do your personal reading on the spot during the live stream, but with super chat, okay, but anyway, take care, hope to see you back here again sooner than later, bye.